Something here that I've actually just been made aware of. Uh, two men in custody after Sheffield Wednesday uh, fans mock Bradley Lowry. Now, I don't know who Bradley Lowry is. I'm going to guess that this is a sick child or something like that. This is me. I basically just had this tweeted at me like five minutes ago. Uh, images of fans holding up sign mocking the child who had terminal cancer. Uh, two men have been arrested after reportedly mocking the death of Bradley Lowry, a six-year-old Sunderland football fan who lost his battle with a rare cancer in 2017. Images of fans holding up a picture of little Bradley suffered on so uh, surfaced on social media following Sheffield Wednesday's 3-0 home defeat to Sunderland on Friday evening. Detectives in South Yorkshire said they've made two arrests following an act of outraging public decency at the game held at Hillsborough. Two men aged 31 and 27 remain Remain in police custody. Remain in police custody. Fucking hell, they, they, they get kept in. A South Yorkshire police spokesperson said officers have arrested two men in connection to an ongoing investigation and to public order offences following a football match. Yesterday, September 29th, two men were reported to have carried out an act of outraging public decency following the Sheffield Wednesday v Sunderland fixture held at Hillsborough. Officers have this evening, 30th September, arrested two men aged 31 and 27 on suspicion of outraging public decency, they both remain in police custody. We are in the early stages of our investigation and continue to urge anyone who believes they have information that can assist to get in touch online via live chat or by calling 101. Bradley Lowry touched the hearts of football fans across the world with his bravery as he fought cancer. His battle with a, ra uh, his battle with a rare cancer helped raise more than £1 million. And that's the end of the article here. Now, in regards to this, I'm about to say something that people aren't going to find, <laughs> people aren't going to find, like it very much right uh, these two men should not have been arrested it is their free speech to do that that's the problem I but I will say right now I'll admit I'm a bit of a spicy boy you know I like I like a little bit of an offensive joke this was a cunty thing to do what well, that is that is shit the, to the point where you hate the other team that much and you want to piss them off that much that you make fun of a little boy who died of cancer <laughs> like that's I, that is just such a cunty, like, infantile, like, thing to do. That's just sad. It's, it's pathetic, right? Should it be a crime? No. However, uh, if the football stadium went, you're, yeah, you're, like, banned for life, you're never coming back here, that's completely fine because football stadium, it's their property, they can decide that stuff. If you if the guys are on there doing stuff, yeah, you're banned for life. Okay, ho, that, that's completely fine in my eyes. The actual arrest and criminal prosecution, no, that should not happen in that is a violation of human rights because the problem with defending uh, freedom of speech uh, as a fundamental basic human right is you very often find yourself uh, defending speech that's just shit. Like, this this was shit. This is just a shitty, horrible fucking thing to do. Like, a child who died of cancer. Right? Do, do you hate the other team that much? I'll admit that, you know, I'm from the land of Celtic and Rangers, right? You know, we we have uh, quite, quite the rivalry up here. People have died. <laughs> because of it right but like a, a, a child a, a child who died of cancer really like really that's that's what you went for that that's what you went for to piss the other team off but i will say the two guys are complete cunts absolute assholes uh for doing what they did but it should not be a criminal case they should not be getting charged because that is a violation of their human rights because Unfortunately, uh, how, how is it the saying goes, when you uh, defend freedom of speech, you'll very often find yourself defending the speech of cretins.